हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल सीओम एजुकेशन इसके पहले के लेक्चर में हमने पढ़ा हाउ टू फाइंड मोलिकुलर वेट नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी हाउ टू फाइंड इक्विवेलेंट वेट व्हाट इज मीन बाय एन फैक्टर एंड हाउ टू फाइंड इक्विवेलेंट वेट ऑफ केमिनो फोर नाउ इक्वेलेंट वेट कैन बी डिफाइंड इन दिस वे वेर इज इन एफिनेशन ऑफ इक्वेलेंट वेट इक्वेलेंट वेट मीन्स द मास ऑफ एन कंपाउंड और एन एलिमेंट or we can say that the mass of an atom or element that can combine with it is possible to combine with 1 g of hydrogen it can combine with 1 g of hydrogens or we can say 1 g of hydrogen or it can combine with a 8 g of an oxygen 8 g of oxygen or it can combine with 35.5 g chlorine so is known as equivalent weight so equivalent weight represent combining power of an element with other equivalent weight can be find out by using this formula equivalent weight if we want to find we have to use this formula equivalent weight equal to molecular weight now molecular weight is divided by n factor then we will get a equivalent weight now question will arise what is meant by n factor and how to find then n factor is nothing but for a uh, base we are using n factor is nothing but acidity or we can say it is a basicity or it is charge of cation or anion it can be said charge of cation or either charge of an anion sometime for a compound we are taking a change in electron change in electron or it is a modern concept or for a reactions generally we are using a change in oxidation number so now we will study to find how to find a equivalent weight of acid base or a compound or a salt now first we will start equivalent weight of an acid now if we want to find equivalent weight of acid then we have to use this formula equivalent weight of acid it can be find out by using this formula molecular weight of acid divided by for acid we are using a basicity now question will arise what is meant by basicity then basicity is nothing but number of replaceable h plus ion in acid so we can say number of replaceable h plus ion in acid now another way also we can define that number of hydroxyl ion required to neutralize h plus ion present in an acid is known as a basicity now for example we will study equivalent weight of hydrochloric acid if we want to find now we know what is the molecular weight of hydrochloric acid 36.5 now for hydrochloric acid the replaceable h plus ion is just only one in hydrochloric acid in aqueous solutions it gives h plus and cl minus so now replaceable h plus ion is just only one or to neutralize it we have required only one hydroxyl ion so uh, we can say that basicity is just one so 36.5 divided by 1 we will get 36.5 now unit of equivalent weight now unit of equivalent weight we can write that gram equivalent gram per equivalent so now uh, equivalent weight of acid uh, we can use sulfuric acid if we want to find sulfuric acid equivalent weight then in sulfuric acid formula molecular weight is 98 now you can observe that replaceable h plus ion in sulfuric acid number of replaceable h plus ion is just only 2 so or we can say that number of hydroxyl ion required to neutralize this h plus ion r2 so basicity will be 2 so 98 divided by 2 so we will get this 49 g equivalent so now in this way we can find uh, 
equivalent weight of different type of acid suppose i will take oxalic acid now equivalent weight of oxalic acid oxalic acid formula h2c2o4 oxalic acid having a two carboxyl group c double oh c double oh now due to this two carboxyl group it has a replaceable h plus ion r this two this two are h plus ion are replaceable oxygen will get a negative charge now molecular weight of oxalic acid is 90 so 90 when divided by 2 you will get a equivalent weight of oxalic acid is 45 so in this way you can find equivalent weight of different type of compound suppose i will give you equivalent weight of a, a different type of base also we can find by using this formula suppose if you want to find equivalent weight of base then we have to use this another formula now suppose we want to find equivalent weight of a base then equivalent weight of base equal to same formula we will use minute change in n factor we will take a for base we will take a acidity so formula will be molecular weight of base divided by for base we are using a acidity now what is mean by acidity then it is nothing but number of replaceable h plus hydroxyl ion we can say that number of replaceable or another word we can say the number of h plus ion required to neutralize the base number of h plus required number of h plus required to neutralize base now this thing is known as a acidity of base suppose we will take uh, example of uh, NaOH now we want to find equivalent weight of sodium hydroxide then molecular weight of sodium hydroxide is 40 now in this formula number of replaceable H plus ion when we take NaOH it gives us two type of ion Na plus and OH minus ion so replaceable hydroxyl ion is just only one so we will divide with one acidity will be one so 40 we will get gram equivalent weight of we can write gram equivalent weight of NaOH now suppose we want to find equivalent weight of aluminium hydroxide aluminium hydroxide is also base now we find out by using this aluminium hydroxide molecular weight of aluminium hydroxide is 78 78 divided by 3 in this aluminium hydroxide replaceable hydroxyl ion are 3 now it has a 3 replaceable hydroxyl ion so 78 divided by 3 you will get 26 so gram equivalent weight of either we can write in this way also you write either we can write in this way also so equivalent weight of aluminium hydroxide is just only 26 gram per mole in this way we can find equivalent weight of different type of uh, base also suppose i want to find equivalent weight of potassium hydroxide then i will get this equivalent weight uh, molecular weight 56 divided by 1 change in electron is just 1 or we can say replaceable h plus ion replaceable hydroxyl ion is just only 1 so now dividing with 1 we will get this 56 gram equivalent weight suppose i have a barium hydroxide then barium hydroxide having a change or number of replaceable hydroxyl ion in barium hydroxide is just only 2 so it has a formula molecular weight divided by 2 now do this in your homework so in this way we can find what is the equivalent weight of an different type of base suppose we want to find equivalent weight of different type of salt then by using this formula we can find equivalent weight of a salt now suppose uh, we have a different type of salt equivalent weight of salt we want to find then we have to use this formula molecular weight of salt and divide it by charge on cation or we can say charge on anion this total charge we have to write now suppose as a salt i have taken a sodium chloride so equivalent weight of sodium chloride if i want to find then molecular weight of sodium chloride for sodium 23 and chlorine 35.5 so we get 78.5 now 78.5 divided by 1 here NaCl gives Na plus NCl minus so charge on cation is just only 1 so by dividing this with a 1 we will get 
equivalent weight will be same as no any change 78.5 gram equivalent so in this way we can find equivalent weight of different compound suppose i have equivalent weight of uh, to find equivalent weight now equivalent weight of potassium sulfate if i want to find for potassium sulfate then potassium sulfate molecular mass of potassium sulfate you can find for two potassium it is for two potassium then one sulfur and four oxygens now potassium you know that it is 39 for sulfur it is 32 and for oxygen it is a 16 by doing the sum of all this thing you will get molecular weight of uh, potassium sulfate will be 174 now in the formula of potassium sulfate it has a two potassiums and charge on potassium is plus 1 So for two potassium charge on cation will be two. So one seventy four when divide with a two seven by simplifications you will now equivalent weight of this will be eighty seven gram per mole. So in this way you can find equivalent weight of any different type of salt by using this formula or this method. Now we want to find equivalent weight of cation of four. Now equivalent weight of cation of four we want to find equivalent weight of as uh, compound. Equivalent weight of KMnO4. Now, equivalent weight of KMnO4 is depending upon medium. Suppose equivalent weight of KMnO4 we want to find in a acidic medium. Then in acidic medium we have to use this formula: molecular weight of KMnO4. Molecular weight of KMnO4 and divided by uh, change in electron, or we can say that change in a oxidation number. now kmn of 4 in a acidic medium it has a change in electron will be 5 understood this reactions mn of 4 in acidic medium it will react with a acid now this four oxygen combine with hydrogen and give us four molecule of water and mn of 4 itself converting in a mn2 plus now when you calculate this oxidation number of manganese is just plus 7 now here oxidation number of manganese is plus 2 so change in oxidation number plus 7 to plus 2 is 5 or mn of 4 in acidic medium gain electron 5 so we can say that here change in electron is 5 so now molecular weight of kmn of 4 you know very well it is 158 by doing sum of all atomic weight you will get 158 change in electron is 5 so 158 divided by 5 you will get equivalent weight of kmn of 4 will be 31.6 g equivalent now suppose we want to find equivalent weight of kmn of 4 in neutral medium then equivalent weight of kmn of 4 in neutral medium same formula will be there but in neutral medium change in electron will be 3 so 158 and divided by 3 how change in electron is 3 just understood in neutral medium mn of 4 minus will react with a two water molecule and it gain a three electron now it is converting in a manganese dioxide mno2 and this uh, 4h plus and oxygen two oxygen react with this two water molecule and we are getting a four hydroxyl ion now you can change that check that oxygen are 4 plus 2 6 both side 6 charge is here minus 4 and here also minus 3 and this 4 so now here oxidation number of mn of 4 is plus 7 in manganese dioxide oxidation number is just only plus 4 so now change in electron is 3 or we can say change in oxidation number is also just 3 so for kmn of 4 it equivalent weight will be 158 divided by this 3 so you will get a uh, 50 150 divided by this this so now 3 to the 6 so you will get 52.66 and gram equivalent so in this way you can find kmn of 4 molecular weight now kmn of 4 molecular equivalent weight suppose you find in a neutral uh, we have taken now basic medium suppose equivalent weight in a base so it is observed that in a basic medium in basic medium kmn of 4 converting in a k 
KMnO4 is converting in a keto MnO4. Now it's converting in keto MnO4 by taking one electron. So here oxidation number is plus seven. Here oxidation number of KMnO4 in this plus six. So you can observe that change in electron is just only one. Change in electron is one. So for a KMnO4 in a basic medium, or we can say that in a strong basic medium, in strong basic medium, change in electron is just only one. One electron change. So now equivalent weight of KMnO4 will be its molecular weight 158 divided by change in electron is one. So it will be same as no any change. So now. You have to study that equivalent weight can be found out by using this different formula molecular weight divided by n factors. n factor is depending upon suppose we have taken an acid then we have to use basicity. Suppose we have a base then we have to use acidity. If we have a different type of salt then we have to use a charge on cation or charge on anion also we can use. For a compound we have to use change in electron or change in oxidation number. And for a compound like KMnO4, you will study in a 12 science that oxidation number or change in oxidation number is depending on a medium also. In acidic, basic or in neutral medium, change in electron will be different. So you will get different equivalent weight for the same compound. So in exam, you have to uh, study well and you have to put in your mind this all reactions. Aapki NCRT mein baut saar aise compound di gaya hai. Aap find out kare. Usko jase jase practice kare ge. Aise hi aapki mastery aye ge. Now thank you for watching my video and please share and subscribe Siva Education.